Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone, it is day number 28 here, the bottom of our fourth week in this season. I'm feeling a bit better today, a lot better than I was yesterday, I'm going to get straight on this tree because I don't trust this one. I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday, just a bit stuffy, so hopefully we should have a bit more upbeat excitement today. We are also going to be finishing our defense goal and as soon as we have got that 65 defense, we will be making a paper! to King's Ransom. Who knows, maybe we even get it done, but that would be a stretch. I don't know how long of a quest it actually is. I haven't looked it up recently. You'd think I would have done that. Some garbage, 65 defense, investigate. Oh, it's the one way you go to court. Is there actually a fight? There's no fight in this quest. Okay, it's very quick. It's the Night's Waves grounds after that we actually want, of course but the quest itself we might, might be able to get through. Who knows? Depends how long this maple takes. <laughs> Hopefully it's not so slow that we don't get to do our birdhouse runs. Twice, I mean. Okay, there we go, 100%. Wasn't too bad. I'm gonna put about 500k in the coffers, take it up to a mill. In fact, I'll just make it 500k to save me having to figure it out. Check our allocation first, make sure the money goes in. Mahogany and herbs, and then we collect beautiful stuff we're gonna go straight over to the farming guild trade our spirit seed with jane open all that up keep it looking got a few different herb seeds there that was actually a pretty good seed pack even got a rinder okay we're off to birds that terrible bird house run what is that garbage three nests we will have less income from these today where am i going come on i might have brought too many runes i don't know who cares we will have a bunch of profit from our miscellaneous stuff though. I'm going to put everything up on the GE when we're done with this farm run. Okay, there's all them done. I'm going to remember my staffs today. Except I don't have the money to buy staffs today. Not right now. Maybe when some stuff sells, but... Seeds... What have we got? Okay, we got a palm tree. Here it's not worth all. Dwarf's not worth all. Haven't to... Oh. Seeds are really not worth anything other than Renards, are they? I'm not selling my Renards, so that's kind of garbage. Oh, look at all these herbs! Look at all those herbs, I'm not cleaning them. It's way too fucking many. But that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's slap all this up. Oh shit, I almost put 10 stamps up that I'd bought. <laughs> okay, now we've got money to go and get ourselves battle staffs. Bang, go to Zaf. Buy five. I'm gonna change my left click to buy five so I can do that every day. Then back to the GE. You don't make as much on the ones you buy from him, but it's still profit even when you buy them out, so look at that. Alright, and we've still got like 300k worth in the GE. We're 867 or up to now. That's definitely feeling good. Let's get our ass back on over to the Sulfanagua. We got some training to do. Some lovely cash gains at the start of the day though. I suppose we did start on, we had like 600k, but I put 500 in miscellaneous, which is about what it had spent since I'd last topped up. We made about 400k there, effectively. All right, off we go. Oh, stamina, stamina, drink a dose, take an energy. You do not want to run out on the way there, it is not worth it. All right, think that'll have to do. We probably will use them all anyway because as soon as we get the level we're out to be fair i don't think we'll get that long out once we're done here like we won't have that much time left but 
Oh, I did not need that. Wait, did I just crash this guy? I think I just crashed this guy. I'm gonna leave. I don't want to be that person. I thought it was weird that there were drops on the floor. I would rather hop than fuck with his day. Oh, it's pretty busy at the minute. Anyone here? Hey, we're good. Well, we're not good with DDS poking, but... Tracker says 97 kills till we get our level. How many kills have we done at this point? 435. Wow. Predrin's so quick in this gear. We have to pot constantly. But that's because I'm also using ultimate strength and incredible reflexes. Which is exactly why we're working towards what we're working towards with Chivalry and Piety. A bit more efficient. I mean, it's estimating 23 minutes. We've been here for about 5 or 6 minutes now, so it's sort of balanced out at about 90k an hour at the minute. I think we were getting about 96k an hour yesterday, but I was hopping and shit for that other guy, so... Shit, I'm running low on nature runes. Like, I don't have enough to finish all my darts. I guess I mustn't have bought as many nature runes as I did darts. Maybe I didn't have much money at the time. So I just got enough to keep me going. I think I may have just de -aggroed. Not aggro me. Oh, we got an art clue! Something for me to get distracted by. It's a doable first step. <laughs> you love to see it. Or maybe you hate to see it if you're a clue hater. If you are, I don't know what the fuck you are doing on my channel. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> Clues are just such a... Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I just can't help myself from doing a clue unless it's a bitch of a step. Especially on this series. I've done so many. I think I've done like every single clue that I've got on this series other than maybe some beginners. That I could do at least. We might have some easy sat in the bank actually, I'm not sure. Or easy. Man, what the fuck has this series done to me when I'm considering this to be a chill activity? I was just sitting back thinking, yeah, this is actually not that bad. I'm pretty chill. Yeah, fucking furiously high alking between my attacks. Like, what is wrong with me? This is the opposite of chill. I mean, it's not stressful. But it's constant. So this hard clue, I'm basically going to progress it until I've got a step that I have to think about. And then I'll just go and do King's Ransom as much as the rest of the time that I have. What I mean by that, like, if I get a wilderness step or something, I'll probably stop and go do King's Ransom while I think about it. Unless I think it's a really easy wilderness step. You know what I mean. Whereas if I get shit like I was yesterday, where it's just go to Lumbridge... Like, yeah, I'll do that step and keep going. Some Renar weed sold from Miscellanea. Very nice indeed. Our cash stack has been fluctuating so much this season because we've just been spending it as we've been making it. But a lot of that is just accumulated in our bank. Like, we have l loads of stuff like Obsidian Plate that we're not planning to use in the long run, but we're using it right now. Like the Black Mask that we had earlier in the season. I think it was this season that we had the Black Mask, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because we did the Slayer Grime for this, yeah. Like, it's like the Black Mask that we we use for a while and then we will sell, so... Like, when we get to the end of our grinds, we're basically going to have a bunch of shit to sell that should get us, like, a fair few mil, like, it should be a reasonable amount, you know. Th this is, like, 1.3 mil. I don't know what else we have on other styles but there is stuff just whatever we're using for training effectively okay my wrist is starting to hurt now i am kind of ready for this to end my hand is numb i could just be nice to myself for a day and let myself afk the niguo without spamming high elk but i didn't and i probably will continue to not do whenever i come back here because double time in my training is just so much more efficient that is the name of this series after all i've lost aggro but i'm not resetting because we're only going to be here for another minute or so we are very almost done and there it is 65 defense 81 combat we are certainly coming along let's get ourselves over through here gonna get rid of that 
the whole norm being aggroed. Clear that. Bang. Through here we go. Use the shit on her. Very nice. And then we will be going to LMS for a quick little reset and banking. Is granite not tradable? Why do I think that? Can't remember if that's right. Well, let's go to Varrock. Willow. Only took you a day to mess it up again. What you got for me, bro? Crandor require. That's making me think, so I think I will not do it yet. I mean, to be fair, it's not that bad of a step. I just don't think I'm going to be asked to go to Crandor right now. That's going to take a few minutes. Where are we going, Sinclair? Oh my gosh. Is he a god or there is no other alternative? I am a god. I forgot to buy nature runes though. And to go to the GE, we can do that in just a sec. Do I have to talk to all these mandem? Oh, I never bought the shit either, did I? Why am I stepping out of the window rather than just going in the front door? They locked the house or something? Like they didn't just see me walking around it? Okay, Camelot teleport. Do I have to actually? Oh, wow, I didn't realise I had to click. Okay, well, court is no longer in session. But she's still in prison? That's not in there, is it? Oh, I'm locked up. I hope I don't need the Black Knight armor for this, but. E Star Day. May as well grab the free rune essence. Get ourselves to the grand exchange. We need to buy all this shit. Wait, all he needs granite. Okay. Hey, you can buy granite. Why is none of this shit buying? Oh my gosh, spell. Not, not tea. Okay, there we go. Uh, bronze med and an iron chain. All right, we've got everything there that we need, I believe. I'm going to put the claw away because I'm not doing it. And we are... Is there any point? I mean, I can do this. I don't know if I'll get to do my birdhouses. So I think I'm just going to do my birdhouses first, make sure. And then if we've got time, we'll do shit. Slap that on. Hopefully I don't need too much invent space, please. I guess I can equip some stuff to... What am I on about? Hoping that I don't get birdhouses. Of course I want nests. Give me the nests. Where are my seeds? Where are my... Oh, fucking idiot. I need the Holy Grail. I don't know why I have it. it doesn't say I need it anywhere, does it? But I don't want to, like, get rid of it. Whoa, what am I doing? Seeds. Yeah, we're not going to have time to do shit there. Giles. That is a fish, mate. Cheers for the ruby. And there's some bird's nests on the floor. How many? Three. We don't need these rings. Let's just go to Ferox and get a reset in. And there we are. Figured I may as well get a couple alks in <laughs> while I was just waiting for the time to run down. Okay, well, we got most of the way through King's Ransom. So tomorrow, we're just going to do this final little bit. There's no fights or anything. It's just a few different steps. And then we'll have the Knight's Way of Training Grounds to go on to. So I'll have to look up the most efficient way to do that quickly. I'm probably just going to need to take, like, lots of pots in and restores and shit maybe men if i remedy me because for that I'll, I'll look it up but yeah we're going to be doing the night's waves after so that we can finally unlock chivalry and be on the road to piety with 70 defense that'll give us some big xp boosts as well as well as the reward for this quest gives us some big xp so we're gonna be chilling tomorrow doing this doing the night's wave grounds i don't know how much time we'll have left after that i figure out how what the plan is for whatever i do have but yeah good day today we spent like 25 30 minutes training and got 40k xp so very solid 13k in the hit points as well tiny bit of rune crafting standard farm and hunter 20k magic xp gain from alkin so like half a level basically because we got one level yesterday like half level today not too bad oh we've got 28k to go we might not get there tomorrow we might not get there tomorrow plus we'll be alkin less while we're doing the night swerves and stuff and i need to buy more nature still keep forgetting anyway i'm gonna stop rambling because uh well it's the end it's the end of the episode <laughs> 
If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It helps a ton, both promoting me into the algorithm and letting me know that you like what I'm doing so that I continue doing it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried out my training method. I know a couple of people have been at the Sulfonaguas in my Discord that have, uh, have mentioned being there and getting some really good experience. So let me know in the comments if you tried it out yet. And uh, if not, maybe you should because it's pretty damn good. And hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content, including the rest of this series as we are preparing for raids. It's been a while since we really talked about raids, but that is what we're going for here on season three in probably our longest grind yet. Okay, that is everything. Until the next time, look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.